Okay, with the roof done, we are ready to move on to our doors. Now we're working with a company that primarily does garage doors, but what they've done for us is two single three foot doors. We'll put Astro in the middle, the right one will operate. Now they've done this same type of thing in a garage door. You can see this is a single sectional garage door. But imagine if you do two individual doors, break them in the center like we have, open up the right one, that's exactly what we've got. Now we are going to be painting this. This is all paint grade material. All the rails and styles are finger jointed hemlock. They're inch and three quarter wide, so we really get that nice, uh, you know, heavy door feel that we uh, we want in something like this. Switch grip. They use mortise and tenon joints on those to keep everything straight and structurally strong. Check out the OG edge profiles along the rails and styles. That gives it a real handcrafted flavor, don't you think? The panels are custom V-groove, and they're made of a material called Xterra, which resists moisture, rot, and bugs, including termites, if they're a problem where you live. And sometimes garage doors are only meant mainly to be seen from one side, but these have the same design elements front and back, which uh, you have to give them a lot of credit for the craftsmanship that goes into these. These doors are, are a little bit more fun to install because there's no jams to kind of shoot the jam over. So we're attaching the, our strap hinge directly into a king post, morsing it in. Ready? Hang on, don't smash my finger. And then putting our door in place, getting our margin where we want it, and then fastening the front of the strap hinge to the door. We're not using all the screws, just enough to hang on to the door, make sure everything fits perfectly, swings, reveals are great, then we'll come back and screw everything on. How are we looking, Dino? Very nice. Well, the doors are swinging absolutely beautifully. Our margins are perfect all the way around. So we got our strap hinges on. We still have a little bit more hardware to go, but uh, we'll do that a little bit down the road to wrap up this part of the project. Nicely, nicely.